Hi everyone, my name is Fury of Ash, and today we're going to be talking about how to add sound effects to your streams on Twitch. There are a lot of different ways that you can add in sound effects to your streams. This is just one of the options, and in my opinion, one of the easiest ways to start off with just having something interactive on your stream. If you would like to see other options or to know what I personally use and comparing different applications, feel free to comment down below, but otherwise, let's get to it. So today we're going to be using an extension panel off of Twitch called Sound Alerts. All you have to do is go to your main channel on Twitch and then go into your panels. Once you're looking at your panels, you'll have a little toggle that allows you to either edit your panels or view them as is. You're going to want to go into the edit panels version of that toggle. Once you've edited, there'll be this like taskbar that pops up in the center of your screen and it just shares a ton of their suggested extension panels. These can range from like having a sub leaderboard to interactive things for your community. There's a lot of really cool ones out there that you should definitely look at. But for the one we need today, you just need to scroll all the way over to the right and hit view all extensions. Once you've clicked this, there is a search bar in the top right hand corner and you're just going to type in sound alerts in this search bar. It is the first button that pops up for me and once you click this, there's an option to configure it in the top right hand corner. Once you've opened the dashboard, it'll then share with you all of your channel like follows, subs, all of that good stuff, pretty much any information on your channel. Your main thing to look at is under my alerts. When you go here, you'll see the extension and you can see any of the alerts that you've picked out of their library. And you can also see that there are two other options in tabs as well. One is for channel points. So if you want people to enjoy a song or some fun sound alert, but you don't wanna to have to charge them bits, you can have this as an option that will automatically sync up with your channel points. You'll also see on the third tab that there's an option that says other alerts. Pretty much any subscription or follow, any of those alerts that pop in, you also have the option to add in a fun sound effect or song if you would like to as well. This gives you a really great way of customizing your channel, especially per alerts, if you don't feel like you have any sound effects to go with whatever alert pops up for your follows or subscriptions or any of those. If you go down to the sounds tab, you'll be able to see their sounds library. They have a ton of options for you to choose from. You can test them by previewing them and deciding if you wanna add them into your extension browser or not. Once you've found one that you like, you can click open and assign the sound to either your extension, which would be for bits, your channel points, which would be for channel points, or the other events, which was the sound effects that we talked about that are keyed in with your alerts. If you want it to play with an overlay, you can also adjust the overlay as well. But for me personally, I like to just have the sound go off and not see it on screen. I like to hear it and have it be a surprise. Another important reminder is that you can customize how everything looks on your panels as well. If you go into the settings option, you'll also see that you can control the browser source volume, the extension theme color, and the overall extension cooldowns. Cooldown is going to be super important because you don't want people spamming the same sound effect unless that's the type of stream you run. More often than not, you wanna have a nice cooldown on there so that people aren't trolling you or you actually have gaps where you're talking and sounds not constantly playing over it. There's also a chat notification that you can have pop up. So for me, I don't want any overlay popping up, but maybe I want something in chat saying, this person has redeemed this sound effect. I can then call out the person in chat if they choose to not be anonymous and congratulate them on a very well-timed sound effect or also scold them if they are trying to scare me as well. If you go over by one tab, you'll see a setup option. This is going to show you how to implement this as a browser source in whatever you are using as your streaming service. For me, I just use OBS, so I just click on the OBS Studio and plug it in as my browser source on every single 
slide and every single scene that I want this to be available on. The second step is going to be installing it as the extension on Twitch. You've probably completed this step by already being in the configuring space, but if you haven't, it does give you an option to click the install it as an extension. Another feature they have is adding managers and administrators to this. So that way you can have someone coming in and helping you and monitoring who is redeeming what and what's going on your soundboard in general. So if you add in an editor, they can update all of your alerts and help add in different ones or take away some of the ones that haven't been played. This could be great if you want someone to just kind of keep rotating what sound effects people could use weekly. The administrator will be able to see all of your channel information, so this is someone that you definitely want to trust. The nice thing is, is that the option is there for you to have someone helping you along the way with this if you would like. Once you have picked a good collection of sound effects and music, you can go into your extension panel and then assign each and every single sound effect to whatever sound volume you want it to be, to the overlay you want it to go to, and you can give it a name and title. This also gives you an option to put it on subscriber only if you feel like certain things should only be redeemed by your subscribers. I highly recommend using the test in browser source. When you have this pulled up and you're making sure that everything sounds good before you go to stream, you're going to want to make sure that every single sound you've added in is at a good volume and a good level for you. Because some people like to add in screaming sound effects or things that like to scare the streamer, and those should probably not be at 100% volume. That extension panel will now appear in your other panels in your about me section if you're on mobile it's a little harder to find but you'll actually see this like little purple icon of the sound alerts and it's in the top right section of when you're just chatting just something to keep in mind in case you have people who cannot find that panel if you're on pc really easy to find and makes it fun to use this is just a reminder that there are a lot of easy and little things you can do to upgrade and update your stream. It's really hard when you're starting off and you just want to find fun ways to entertain your viewers and your chatters that are there hanging out with you. This is a great way to have some interactivity, but also completely in your own control. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And also remember that I am a streamer on Twitch and I stream every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So you can also check me out live and ask me any of your questions as well. Until next time, bye!